the study of the limitation of algorithms, which is one of my interests, relates very much to the safety of the digital infrastructure on which we rely every day. Well, algorithms are the recipes that tell computers how to solve problems. And over time, computer scientists have invented, and we continue to invent, faster and more efficient algorithms. And it is the invention of these more and more efficient algorithms, together with the development of uh, more and more powerful computers, that have enabled the digital revolution that we're all witnessing. But there are also limits to what algorithms can do. And this is actually a very good thing. For example, there are well-defined calculations whose solution will give you the ability to forge digital signatures or to hack into computer systems that host sensitive data or to make fraudulent transactions on uh, blockchains and so on. So it is very important that algorithms that do any of those things do not exist. Well, very much so. In order to invent uh, new algorithms and to develop more capable computer applications, we have often used ideas that originate from uh, pure mathematics, that were invented to understand very abstract mathematical problems. But now these ideas are at the core of uh, AI systems, of computer graphics, of uh, robotics, of uh, data science, and so on. But of course, in order to apply these methods, they have to be modified in various ways. And something that interests me very much is that often, if we go back to see what those modifications can do in the realm of uh, pure mathematics, well, they're able to prove new theorems and uh, to give new insights about very abstract problems. So it is a two-way street. Not only pure mathematics give a lot of ideas to computer scientists to create new algorithms, but the process of applying this math to computer systems also gives back new ideas into pure mathematics. By true and doubt charts, the Fondation Invernizzi supports basic research and the development of the kind of innovations that take a long time to come to fruition, but that have a big impact when they do. And basic long-term research is very important in computer science. For example, the recent advances in AI and also in blockchains are made possible in part by ideas that were developed in academia in the 1980s and the 1990s. And so in this spirit, the Fondazione Invernizzi Chair in Computer Science will support long-term research on uh, algorithm design and on the study of the limits of algorithms and on interactions between uh, algorithms research and pure mathematics. And I want to specifically support research opportunities for young students in Bocconi, both in our PhD programs and in our new Master of Science in uh, AI, and also to allow young researchers from uh, overseas to spend time in Milan on uh, research exchanges. <laughs>